Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Howard. Uh, I'm a watch enthusiast in the Boston area. But when I have time, I'm trying to find you know nice watches like this one to do a video. And uh, if you find it helpful, please consider subscribing and uh, support the channel. It will mean a lot to me. Um, I've done the Blue Sky Dweller review a few years ago. Um, you know, I really like the Sky Dweller watches. It just unfortunately is too big for me. Um, I personally just wouldn't be able to wear it. But I like it because it's basically a GMT, a combination of a GMT function plus a, a date function plus the month function, right? So it's the most complicated complication that Rolex actually makes. Um, so this one I want to do because it's a special dial color. I think in the indoor lighting, it's a little bit harder to tell. So Rolex called this one blue green dial, model number 336935. 336935. It's a 2023 new color. So this particular one's Ever Rose Gold, uh, full gold watch with the blue green dial. I think they started to do more of this dial color in other options, uh, other watches uh, in this year, but. You know, when this color came out, it was really nice because the blue one, everyone loves it. Deep, you know, deep blue, bright, bright blue, popular color. Then they had, the, you know, mint green color, which is also really popular. But this one's, I would say it's kind of like a teal color. It's in between. I think, no, no, this angle might be a little bit more, you can get that teal sort of, you know, not a deep, Blue, not a mint green. It's a combination of the two. Very nice. Um, very, very nice color. I, I bet you if you look at this watch in, under a regular sunlight, it will be extremely impressive to look at this sun rate blue-green color. Um, as I mentioned, this is a giant watch, uh, one of the largest Rolex makes. 42 millimeter case. Uh, it's a little bit on the thicker side because it has a lot of functions, you know, two time zones, the date, the month. Uh, so it's a 13.8. I mean, you can see it's thick. You know, in Rolex standard 13.8 is thick. Lug to lug, end to end, it's 50.4, 50.4. Um, the lug width, based on my measurement, at the top is 21 millimeter. And it tapers down to 16.5 at the most narrow part. The weight, the, the weight of this watch is super heavy. 248 grams, uh, 8.78 ounces. I mean, 248 grams is like, it's like a titanium, uh, well, not titanium. It's going to be like a more of a platinum weight for a smaller, like 36 millimeter uh day date kind of weight those are in the 225 to 230 but this is 248 grams fluted bezel um, obviously fluted bezel in general that means precious metal uh, on rolex watches but in this case this is also a special function bezel it's bi-directional rotating bezel the rolex calls a ring command so you actually rotate the bezel to uh, you know, change time and date, all that. I'll, I'll demonstrate a little bit later. Um, it's a twin lock, twin lock, screw down, uh, double waterproof system, waterproof about uh, 100 meters and 330 feet. Uh, in terms of the polish color wise, so the shoulder, you know, here and here is polished, the side is polished. Crown side is polished as well. Um, you had the three link oyster bracelet, the outside is nickel finished, but the in, inside link, center link is polished. It has a standard lock. There's no fold over, just a regular lock. And on the back end, it's more of a nickel finish. It's not polished and there's no exhibition case back just a regular case back um caliber 9002 9002 power reserve about 72 hours um 
basically, I think all Rolex watches are, are pl minus two, plus two seconds per day. Extremely accurate watch. Um, if you look at the dial, again, the beautiful blue-green with a little bit of a sun ray type of finish. You have the inner 24-hour second time zone, or you, you can call it a low, uh, home time zone. You got the regular hour, minute, second, the local time. Sky Dweller, Oyster Perpetual, Suppletive, Chronometer, Officially Certified. So you have basically the second time zone or local time. You got the date. And on the 12 indexes here, so this red dot signifies the month. Um, so if it's January, this first index will have a red indicator. Then February all the way to 12, which will be December, November. Here's October. Yeah, very, you know, it's like I said earlier, it's the most complicated complications Rolex makes. Um, I don't, you know, of course, companies like Rolex, if they want to make more complicated watches, they sure can. But I think, you know, their sweet spot, a lot of these watches, why are these Rolex so popular, sell 1.3 million a year, and they're still in high demand. Most of their watches, starting from OP to, you know, Daytona or GMT Master 2 and all that, non-precious metal, the range is from like a 6,000 to 16,000, right? It's a good spot for a lot of consumers. These precious metal ones, obviously, you're buying a gold in addition to, I mean, you know, the function, so the watches are a lot more expensive. Um, this particular one retail in the US is 53,000, 53,000 US dollars. Um, on the gray market, secondary, it's close to about 70,000 uh, for this particular full gold piece. So let me demonstrate this rim function, right? For a lot of these watches, when you adjust the time, the day, you just pull this out. So for this one, it's a little bit different. So the ring, again, you can rotate both sides. To adjust the time, you rotate all the way to the left. They're like three clicks, yeah. So now it's all the way to the left. Then you unscrew the crown. Okay, and they pull out, so the second hand stops. So this is where you adjust the, basically the minute, right? If you want to just adjust the minute, when you adjust the minute, you can see that inside disk, the 24 hour moves with you. Right now, local time is 927. The hometown or the second time zone is 22 or 10 p.m., 10.27. So as you move the minute, here we go. So it's local times 10, and the second time zone is 11, right? So that's how you adjust the minute hand. To adjust the hour, you just turn this to the next, turn to the right next setting. Now you adjust the, lo the local hours only, which is kind of cool, right? You adjust the local hours only. To adjust the date, you turn it one more time. So you can adjust the day up and down, no problem. So pay attention to this red indicator of October. October are 31 days. So when I go one more adjustment to go to the first, this will jump from October to November. Let's see if that works. Boom. See that? It's first, that'll be November. You can actually go backwards. Go back to 31, it went back to October. Go to first, pay attention to this red, jump to November again. So it's pretty neat. I mean, that's how you adjust the time, the minute. That's how you adjust the, the hour and the, how you do the date and the month. So the only thing sort of missing is the day of the week. It doesn't show it's Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. So it's not quite a true, you know, full function watch, but it has enough to uh, meet the needs of most, you know, travelers. Um. Okay, let's try to put that on my wrist. Um, I have a smaller wrist, six and a half inches and 16.5 centimeters. I mean, you can see this guy is gigantic. Um, it looks 
really big. It's not quite at the end of my wrist. I have I still have about five millimeters from the end of the lug to the end of the wrist um, on that top side on the bottom side maybe two or three millimeters but the issue for small wrist guys like us is the thickness 13.8 is just it's really thick it's gonna look really big um, when you tighten it you can still see because the watch is tall you know there's some empty space sitting there If you, I think if you have a wrist that's, I would say, seven to seven and a quarter inches, you know, uh, 17 and a half to, you know, starting at 17 and a half, 18 millimeters, you know, totally you can do a sky roller. But again, remember, it's not just the size. If you go for these full gold, 248 grams is very heavy. I mean, me just doing this review, my wrist is, my arm is sore, man, just by lifting this watch for 10 minutes very beautiful I mean again on the video it looks more like a blue uh, but in real life it's more of a teal color has a little bit more of a green color in there beautiful watch again this is the Rolex Sky Dweller model 336935 blue green dial with Everose gold new from 2023 release Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.